Bruce Morris here. Uh, you'll recall the last video we created our logo for our retail business. Given that um, the assessment task is around creating a policy manual for the business and we've decided to use an e-portfolio for that policy, um, I thought it might it'd be appropriate to design a banner image or a header image for the site. So, you know, given that we've done all the hard work in terms of our logo in Sumo Paint, it's very, very simple to create now the banner image. So I'm just scrolling up here, I'm going to create a new image. And this image is going to be called our banner image. I'm going to go with the size 1000 pixels by 150 and hit OK. Now, actually, but just before I do that, I'm just going to uh, undo. I'm just going to do that again, but this time create, rather than a ba white background, I'm going to go with transparent like I did with the logo before, so apologies for that mistake. 1000, 150, hit OK. There we go. Alright, so if I zoom in, okay, you can see the image there. There's our logo there before. You can see that I created that as a ping file. So what I can do, again working in a multi-layer environment, is I can import the ping image into a layer. So remembering that our banner image is going to sit across the top here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a file, import to layer from my computer. And you recall I just saved the ping file there before. So there it is. Hit OK. There we go. OK. So I can sort of position that on the page as I see fit. And pretty good there okay so once I'm happy with that I hit the apply transformation so there's my logo in terms of my banner image now I might just uh, in terms of positioning I might just move that up slightly uh, although I don't want it to uh, show that transparent background there so again it's just a bit of playing around there we go Okay, apply transformation. Okay, so because we are um, producing a store policy and procedures manual, we're going to incorporate that into our site banner. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom right in on the image so you can see the whole image on the screen there. And now I'm going to go into layers. So let me just collapse some of this color picker swatches for the moment you can see our layers here I'm going to produce a new layer and the new layer is going to be called text so you can see that that layer is a darker gray there from the two other layers and I've clicked on my text button let me go with a text like impact and I'm just going to draw my text box there. Now, I'm going to start with a fairly small font size and we can always transform it. Store. Policy. And procedures manual. Okay, so once I've finished typing my text, I can move that around in terms of the image. Um, if I zoom back in there, okay, you can, as I said, position that wherever you want in terms of the page. Let's say you want it over under there and 
again because it's on a layer you've got things like the option to apply effects so I might choose a drop shadow you can see it produces that nice drop shadow there um, I go with strength distance I can sort of play around with that okay I'm pretty happy with that um, again if you wanted to explore the different elements associated with that you can all right so many of the features of Photoshop are there so I'm just going to hit OK all right um, again that's how what our image looks like at the moment and I'm just going to go up to file save to my computer as a PNG file it's called banner image and I'm going to replace it so now I'm jumping back to my site okay so at this point I've saved my image and what I'm going to do is go back into edit side layout I'm adjusting my site header and here I'm going to use a logo so by default it uses the domain logo which is no logo so I can um, probably going to use the logo size or the height and I'm going to use a custom logo choose file and I'm going to choose my banner image there so once that's attached I can hit OK and what we should find is our logo appearing there now you can see um, a few things so you can see that the search this site is in a position there that um, you know, it's blocking my logo and you can also see the name of the ePortfolio there so you can actually change those things by just going to manage site I can turn off that show the site at the top of pages and if I scroll down here configure search I can actually turn that off so I'll just show you what that looks like once I save it jump back to here and you can see it sort of looks not quite nice in terms of its layout etc so hopefully um, you'll be able to create your own banner image um, that also uh, links to your creation of your logo which I did here